Yo, what up, it's Don. Same with me here. Soul Brothers back up in it. Uh oh. Ooh, LeBron Soldier 13. We have uh, basically every angle of the shoe. We have a lot of pictures of it. So shout out to Wade God underscore the legend. So uh, obviously we, we did the leak of the actual shoe, but without the picture. We had the description of like what it was, you know, what the tech was going to be and stuff like that. We did not know what it was going to look like. And then we had a leak of a, the picture. It was kind of like a, I guess, 45 degree angle picture, but it was like pretty shitty. And now we have a very, very good picture. And we have a lot of angles, the, the lateral side, the medial side, the traction. We have uh, better pictures of the strap. So let's get over all of that. Let's go over all of that. So let's get started off with the traction. Yo, these look violent. Herringbone. Whoa. White. And this is a solid white outsole, and that herringbone looks real nice. I mean, it looks like a tire. Yeah, I mean, it does. Uh, what is that? Does it say? Oh, it says 23 right there. Right. It says 23, and uh, you have LeBron James's logo in the middle. What is that? Is that a C? What is that? Hmm. Oh, yeah, it looks like a C. Oh. For the Cavaliers. <laughs> exactly. He's going back. Um, so, I don't know, man. The, obviously, the pattern looks amazing. The the rubber looks like the herringbone pattern looks real thick. So, it looks like it's going to be durable as well. You never know how attractive it's going to be from the pattern, though. I mean, uh, we think that it's 80%, 90%, you know, like the, tr uh, the rubber compound. Yeah. That, that's what That makes the performance of the attraction real good. I mean, we have the, what? The free run 5.0, which is basically flat, having really good traction. And it's just foam. And it's just foam, you know? So, and you have weird storytelling tractions that are really good sometimes. So, um, we're thinking, I mean, the pattern looks good and all, and it looks durable, but hopefully the rubber compound is on point. And they use the same rubber compound as the 12, and that would be freaking nice, you know? Yeah. Uh, but traction overall does look promising. So, nothing to be worried about there unless they use a really shitty compound. Uh, cushion. All right, so the cushion, we have no idea what the cushion is going to be. It doesn't say zoom in anything, dude. Yeah, they're never really too gnarly in the soldiers. Um, pretty low to the ground oftentimes and, you know, really good response. That's interesting because, like, yeah, like, it, when, when we see the uh, dismantling of every single soldier, they use, like, a huge-ass forefoot and yeah. heel zoom in it, but you usually can't feel it. Yeah. Um, and it usually says zoom on the midsole, but like looking at it and zooming in, there's nothing. There, it doesn't say zoom. I mean, all. take it out. You can't feel it anyways. <laughs> Just put a decent foam there in, yeah. in, the, in, in its place. Yeah, but in the tech specs, it did say forefoot and heel zoom. Yeah. So uh, we uh, obviously there is going to be, but it doesn't say zoom, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, for the upper, it is a ripstop upper, and it does kind of look like a textile upper, but uh, what, what are the the uh what do you call it the aspects of ripstop ripstop is nylon weaved in a fashion that when you cut it it will no longer uh continue to rip in that direction wow yeah so it's just like kind of like a weaving technology i think and it's usually used with nylon yeah so i mean that it looks like a pretty nice material dude yeah it's very like dope I mean, or something crazy durable obviously it kind of reminds you know the material here this thing, yeah. the PGs, it kind of reminds me of that, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. No? I don't know. But there's that. Uh, here in the heel, you have some suede touches. And then, of course, you have straps. Yep. So the strap looks really interesting. So if you look, so uh, obviously we have two different colorways. We have this green, orange, purple, black colorway. Mm -hmm. And we have the Lakers colorway, right? So if you look at the strap, you have one in the forefoot and one, I guess, in the ankle area, which actually goes pretty high on the ankle. And it says here, pull for lockdown, right? Right. So if we look at the Lakers colorway, you can see more of it. And you see that? Wow. So I think the strap, uh, if you look at the medial side, it, it attaches to those things, right? So you just kind of like, it does a loopy loop and you tighten that, right? And then once you do that, you see the other strap on top of that strap. Yeah. So I guess that tightens as well, because it says pull for lockdown. And if you look at it, it has one of those little thingies that you have on the backpack. Oh, yeah. And then you tighten it to make it tighter, right? So I'm thinking you go like this, you do a loop-de-loop -loop strap, and then if you want additional lockdown, you do more, you tighten the backpack strap type of thing on top of the strap. Yeah. So literally, this shoe has four straps. It's a strap within a strap. Yeah, oh, yeah, freaking Inception, dude. Yeah, yeah LeBron wants to, uh, you know, do that. Um, but I don't know, man, does that seem useful to you? 
that seems real dumb to me like yeah. why would you need a strap on top of a strap just tying this original strap right yeah no that's something's that's kind of that's weird. overkill maybe like you don't need additional lockdown for the strap because you can just tighten this original strap as tight as you want yeah how many times did we stay did I say strap like I know that? So somebody <laughs> please put a counter oh my god um, but um I, I so that's what they're saying on the technology there's no laces at all which you know we we're used to um but it's kind of interesting I, I wonder if it'll do anything or if, if it'll be a gimmick um also it, in the forefoot it looks like the strap goes inside or I guess kind of like underneath the mat uh, material oh, yeah. and it's placement is real great yeah it's really really nice i mean it doesn't look like the phone comes up at all or anything but if the strap is right there or is especially right where i guess like your pinky toe area is and that's where mm -hmm. you're putting a lot of torque when you're doing lateral movements that's a great place to put that strap also you have this remember that uh, i forgot what they're calling it but that ankle thing where uh i guess it kind of like opens up instead of like you know what i'm saying what um so you, it flaps over itself oh yeah yeah okay. so it flaps over itself so i, I right. think i'm thinking once you unstrap that ankle strap uh it, it kind of like folds open like the like the 16 um i guess a little bit like the 16s exactly yeah. but it kind of like folds over yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying and which is a nice feature yeah but like it's a all a part of the upper it's not yeah. like a separate tongue i don't think right and then that kind of like flaps open or whatever mm -hmm. and then you put your foot in and then it kind of like folds over itself and then you tighten the strap so that's one of the technologies as well um you have the lebron logo in the middle mm -hmm. right there i guess where the in between the straps or whatever right and um i don't know man uh, this shoe looks ugly as shit though yeah it does look kind of ugly yeah you know what would be dope is if they use a softer type of uh, cushion yeah. As far as like the foam goes, but you guys already know it's gonna be real stiff. I think it looks a little like boot like. Yeah, it looks a very boot like. Bulky, you know. Yeah, um, and there are no swooshes. The swooshes are very small swooshes in mm -hmm. the heel. You have one on the medial and lateral side, which I don't like that at too much. But um, yeah, I don't either. yeah, so that's the LeBron Soldier 13. I mean, traction seems like it's gonna be good. Cushion, we don't know about it, but I am excited for that system i mean the materials seem nice with the ripstop upper and the strap you guys already know the containment and all that's gonna be great yeah just excited to try like i guess the flap system because i love the lebron 16 flap so i'm excited just to like see how this will work um but I, yeah I'm, I'm glad that lebron's like kind of i guess trying to trying something different you know yeah. what i'm saying in all of his shoes tell us what you guys think aesthetically i mean i still don't like it i mean this colorway is not bad i would say but it might grow on us a little bit. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But, I don't love it off the bat. Yeah, so that's the LeBron Soldier 13. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be, like, the same price as the 12, probably around 140 bucks. And since we already have a lot of leaked pictures of this shoe, obviously, they already made it. It's obviously probably in production, too. So we'll probably get it maybe, like, in a month or two. I yeah. Think, you know, like, it usually comes around in the playoffs so yeah. um it, it's since lebron's not in the playoffs it'll probably come out maybe latest summer so anyways tell us what you guys think of the lebron soldier 13 do you guys think it'll be a good performer but that's it thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next time. later